this is this war of mine. I've played uh, the standard game before, not these stories. But it was a long time ago when I played the standard game, so I think it was like these. But I'm excited to check how these are, and then I might actually go back to playing the uh, the classic game. But we'll see. I did really like this game. Love the concept. I do think they gamified it a bit and somewhat went against the original concept. By, you know, making war gamified, just from a different perspective. Adam's family failed to flee the city in time, but they managed to get by somehow despite the siege. Until one day Adam's wife fell ill. Without the proper meds, Barbara died. After her mother's death, Amelia became completely withdrawn and stopped speaking. Then she fell ill. One night an explosion shook their tenement, but fortunately they survived. Adam carried Amelia to the other wing of the building, desperate to save his daughter. Everything will be alright, Amelia. We'll be safe here, I promise. Please rest now, you need to regain, regain your strength. <coughs> I actually don't even remember the controls. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. I will look around the house, see what I can find. I'll be close, don't worry, I'll check on you soon. You rest now. Objective, look around the house. Kill five soldiers with headshots. <laughs> That's not, not gonna happen. Uh -huh. Wait, why is Miriam and her love drawing? Even when we can't find crayons, she still finds a way. Don't sit down. There's a letter on the floor. Adam, even though things have never been great between us, we're still brothers. You were too proud to come live at my house when yours was destroyed. At least be reasonable now. There have been tanks of a human... Wait, there have been talks of a human humanitarian corridor opening soon, and people with children are prioritized. Amelia is our chance for getting out of here. Don't you want to save her? I completely forget about this letter. My damn brother. The letter is your brother? That's so weird. Yes, I know it's not fair. Mommy isn't with us anymore. I don't want to sit down here. But I'm here, and I'm not gonna leave you. <clears throat> All that matters now is that we have each other. So much time is passing, it's just you talking to someone who doesn't want to talk. Coffee is becoming less and less available in the besieged city of Pogoran. The prices of coffee on the black market are expected to rise. Ah, so this is if you want to deal on the black market. What is that? Oh, sh no proper stairs, huh? This is a perfect place to build a makeshift bridge. It could help me reach my old apartment. Maybe something can still be salvaged after the bombing. Locked door. Maybe there's food on the other side or meds. Hang on, Amelia. <coughs> is that a lockpick? How convenient. Hang in there, sweetie. Daddy will soon give you something to eat. <clears throat> Bad. It's locked. My tools. My brother was born an ass and an So what? Look, looks pretty simple, I should be able to open it. Okay.
Again, how convenient. There we go, we have food now. I need some food, I can make Emilia something to eat now. Punch can I find some food? I know you're sick and don't feel like eating, but you need to eat to be strong. What if she doesn't want to be strong? What if she wants to be nimble? Healthy. <coughs> yes, that's my girl. Eat it all, you will feel better soon. Making the fucking food to her mouth. <coughs> Fuck, I didn't eat enough and now I'm not strong. Did she just eat everything? Oh no, okay. Ooh. through this bow, if only with a shower or something. But this will take super long. And I had some kind of shower. Can we craft one? <coughs> This was more important. It's almost the day is almost over and we barely did anything. Oh, that just... Hmm. Can't leave Amelia on her own, but if someone comes into our shelter, I need to protect her. And yet, we will go scavenging. The night was calm apart from the echo of distant shots. Let us hope it, it won't get worse. <coughs> oh, I hate 
hate this cough so much. I don't know why I'm coughing right now. Please, anyone respond? My daughter is sick and we need bandages and medicine. Hang in there, sweetie. Daddy will soon give you something to eat. And we need to eat now and then we can vote ourselves out later, I guess. <coughs> Look, Munchkin, I found some food. I'm gonna have to take this apart with my hands. <clears throat> Damn this horror, no child should have to go through this, all this horror. Well, obviously, no one should have to go through all this horror. <coughs> Getting worse day by day. Oh. What's it gonna be? My daughter is very sick, I need meds. Oh, you're the guy from the radio. <coughs> from my favorite radio show. Yes, do you have meds? Nah. Meds are hard to come by, my friend. I beg you, she's all I have. But meds are hard to come by. Alright, I'll do what I can, but I can't promise anything. I nearly got shot on my way here. He's just leaving, okay. But I could check what else he has, but... I mean, I guess I don't have much to offer in terms of trade. <coughs> I should turn away from the microphone when I cough, not into it, I guess. Something for me to consider in the future, perhaps? Like new, Amelia will be so happy. She won't care. <coughs> Check out what I found, Guido. Plush doggy. <coughs> the heck is this cuff? Look how cute and cuddly it is. Why don't you take care of him while Daddy can take care of you? <coughs> have materials for the shovel now. No, we don't. I guess I'll start digging it by hand. Or by hand, I should say. <coughs> Did I just make a huge mistake here? Like, I'm not sure what to do. Because this seems like a huge waste of time. and We're not really getting resources. Yeah, yeah, I know. If only only we had the shower, but we don't. Go 
cost me an arm and a leg, but I have those meds you asked for. this Part of town is dangerous, but I'll try and do to come again. I mean, you don't have to. <coughs> Sweet, I brought some meds. Everything will be alright now. Yeah, we just traded everything we had for like a tiny bit of medicine. <coughs> the fever will drop soon, I promise. Need doctor. Don't spit it out. I know it tastes awful, but it will make you feel better. But I'm here and I'm not gonna leave you. That's just the main issue here, isn't it? <laughs> you should just freaking leave, old man. Is everything okay with Amelia? I have to check. What? <coughs> you just gave her medicine. Was that kiddo you want to draw? Oh, tough shit. Trying to find some crap. Get it unable to go out. <coughs> The night was calm apart from- yeah, it's the same shit. Oh, it's trying to radio again. Hello, can anyone hear me? My child is sick. He like does all these with her skateboard. I need help, someone please answer me. Dirt that is going back to the dirt factory. They really hit the nail on the head with the, the graphics here. Amelia, be strong. Can we talk, brother? <coughs> Not you again, I told you already. Adam, hear me out, please. Adam, grab Amelia and let's go. She's our ticket out of here. The 
humanitarian corridor I told you about. Winnie Luck, brother. They prioritize parents with children. She's not your ticket, she's my daughter, and there is no way she'd survive that in her current state. I'd have to carry her and make frequent stops. They'd kill us before we get anywhere. Always a pessimist. I'm sure she'll make it, and she's our only chance out of this hell. Listen to yourself, we need to risk her life like that. I just want to get us out of here, man. Don't you want it to? And for Amelia to be safe? If you're too scared, I can take her myself. Listen to me carefully. You touch her, I'll kill you. I don't want to see you here again. <coughs> Imagine if you just phrased this differently. That slimy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> 